What is up YouTubers, it's Mushroom's Toy Box, and here we have another quickie car review. This time, it's a little bit different. It's not going to be a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox, but it's going to be an Angry Birds Go quickie car review. Now, um, if you watch my other video, I'll show the link up here and down below. You'll, be, you'll know what these are all about. Basically, you can teleport these cars or these characters into your phone and play the game on Angry Birds Go. Um, you can download the game on the iTunes Store or in the App Store for Android. Just to let you know, these are all the cars that are available right now, or that were available, because this is pretty old. I believe this is um, 2014, so it's two years, almost two years old. Here we go with uh, Terrence's Mega Truck, Bubbles Jet Buggy, the Foreman Pig's Plane, Corporal Pig's Roadster, the Blues Off Roadster, and Bomb's Race Cart. Now, these I got at the 99 cent store for $2.99 right now uh, because they started getting a big holiday rush. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what it's all about. The one that I'm opening up right now is called Terrence's Mega Truck. Okay, and <clears throat> here we go. So let's look at the instructions real quick. Instructions say, for ages six plus, it's a kart and racer game. And uh, let's see. It's, by the way, remember it is the Jenga app. So when you actually look, like, say this is the phone. When you're playing Go, there's a little Jenga thing that you can click, and that's where you'll actually be able to play with these and use these. Um, in the app. So let's see. First you aim, you load first, aim, and then launch. And then you can crash. And then what you do is you win for the win, takes turns launching. The player who misses the block loses the round. The first player to score two or to win two of three rounds is the winner. If you're playing solo, count the number of blocks, a number of shots it takes you to hit the block. Beat your own best, lowest score to win. For more fun, collect all six, and that's it. And you can create a little pig tower, okay? Oh, so cool. So first, let's, uh, let's look at this thing. This is the launcher, and that's pretty cool. I guess you go like that, and you push it out. So that's pretty awesome. This is the uh, one brick they give you. And it's got a little paint on here to give it like that mossy look, which is cool. And then you have um, Terrence, who is the uh, big red bird in uh, Angry Birds, in the Angry Birds series. Okay, and as you can see, he's pretty detailed. He's also squishy, <laughs> so that's kind of fun. And he has a little hole right there. We'll show you why. And then last but not least his car. So the cool thing about this and the difference thing about the difference between Jenga and uh, telepods was that little paint excess paint on there. So the difference between the two is that whereas telepods do not have rolling wheels it has like a center metal ball the Jenga cars actually move they roll so they're actually usable cars. Um, let's go ahead and put Terrence in his car his little roadster, as you can see, he's situated pretty cool. He's got like a, a, a strange signal on the back, and it looks like these are speakers. I want to say maybe. Um, and loading him, basically, you have to push it back. But loading him is, they don't lock, so you just put that in, thread that in there, and then you just fire. And let's see if we can um, get some action gameplay. I'm going to put those there so that uh, we don't make a mess or don't lose them. But basically you just put them right there and then you aim them. And there you go. Alright, so that's our first out of six. This is car number one out of six. Um, it is Terrence and he is driving a Jeep looking type vehicle. And that's about it. So please let me know uh, uh, how you feel and what you think about these cars. If you like what you see, please give me comments and questions below. Um, I'll try to answer as best as I can. 
after I do all six of these, I'll do the gameplay videos so you guys can get an idea. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one. All right, bye-bye. Okay, I'm back. One more thing. There is a special code inside, and I'm going to cover that up so I can unlock it. But you get a special code inside with each purchase so that you can actually zap Terrence into the Jenga game and play. Unlike the telepods where you actually had to zap a QR code with your phone, this you enter a code, which makes it a lot easier for a lot of people because I know there was a little bit of a issue with that. But, all right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.